Okay, this is just a test to see how uh, I can use the Mobi at home to create files and programs to use in the classroom, uh, preferably as a YouTube video. Uh, right now I'm recording, and what I'm going to look at tonight is how we can um, this is what I want. unit fractions when we're multiplying. For example, if I have one half times two thirds. Well, unlike adding and subtracting fractions, a unit fraction when we're multiplying it, we actually, as far as the algorithm is concerned, we are actually going to multiply the numerators and the denominators. And I can actually show this through an area model. Now, when it happens in an area model, I am going to create a uh, grid that is going to show one half by two thirds. This is not a whole lot different than when you go to the hardware store to buy lumber. When you buy a two by four board, in theory, it's two inches by four inches, which gives you a square inch of eight square inches. We're doing the same thing with the fractions. I am taking one half. So if I take and model this as one half, and you have to excuse the drawings, this is just a sample, I'm going to cut this model in half using one of the halves. All right? Going the other directions, my denominator says I have three total pieces, so I'm going to dissect this into thirds. And then I will change my color at this point. We're going to go with blue. And of those three pieces, I'm going to color in two of them. There's the first one. And there's the second one. Two thirds. Now, when I divided this model up like this, halves, top and bottom, thirds going across here, I actually ended up creating six smaller pieces. Well, that's going to become my denominator. Remember, the denominator tells us how many total pieces it would take to make the whole object. In this case, if I were to fill in all six pieces, that would fill in the whole object. With multiplying fractions, what we're actually looking for is the place where they overlap. So if I'm talking about the area model of this fraction, the overlap is 2 of the 6 pieces, or 2 6. If you were going to simplify, that would be 1 third. So 1 half times 2 thirds is 1 third. If you think about it, that makes sense, because what you're really saying is one half of two thirds of the pieces. Well, what is half of two? Half of two is one. One third. One times two is two. Two times three is six. And again, if we do simplify, that is one third. Okay? So I'm going to save this one, and we're going to do a new page. So what I do here, I'm going to find my disk, and I'm going to save this. And, oh, this is not what I expected, so we're going to close this, because I don't know what this is. Um, can I make a transparency of this? Again, you're going to have to kind of live with me. I'm still learning my way around this. I think what I'll do, I'm going to make a new blank page. That should overwrite the one I just had. Now, if I'm going to start with a model. Now, so this time, instead of having the multiplication of those unit fractions, let's say I was given the model that was separated in this way. And I apologize, the lines are all scribbly, but it's not as easy as it looks. All right, so let's say I was given this as a picture. 
as an area model. And then instead of having the multiplication to begin with, they said, let's take this model and decompose it back into a multiplication problem. I would then, knowing that this represents, because I can see the overlap, there's one number that overlaps, and there's, oops, come on, draw, and there's the second box. So I know I have two that completely are using both multiplication parts. So I have two essentially boxes that have um, overlap from both unit fractions and six total pieces. I need to decompose this back to the multiplication problem that gave me two six. I do this by looking and saying, okay, going this direction, I see it's divided into two parts. So I know this is going to be something halves. Only one of them was filled in. So that's one half. Go in the other direction, there's one, two, three. The denominator is thirds. How many were filled in of those three? Whereas I using in other words for my numerator, there's one and there's two. So that reverses and it gets me back by decomposing this model back to the original problem, which should have been one half times, oops, so let it think, two thirds. Okay, this is the area models we're working with with multiplying fractions, just as a sample. I'm going to put this up on YouTube if it worked. This is more actually a test if I can do this with the Mobi, um, but I figured if we're going to do it, we may as well work on something you're doing in math. Parents, if you've not seen this done before with the area model, I know when I was taught to do it, we did not have the area models. We simply were taught the algorithm, multiply the numerator by the denominator. Um, this way it gives the kids two ways of looking at it, that there is something physical that can happen and be measured. Uh, this would come in handy if, for example, I want to find the area of something using fractions. So maybe I need the area for a project where I'm painting where the object I'm painting is less than a foot. Maybe it's three quarters of a foot by half a foot and I need to know what the surface area is. I could use this to find that out, okay? So as far as a real-world application. All right, at this point, I'm going to stop this.